Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to install Windows Subsystem for Linux or briefly WSL such that we can run Linux Ubuntu, Linux applications or Docker in an isolated environment in Windows 10 or 11. Furthermore, we will explain how to set up and install the desired Linux distribution in WSL. In this tutorial, we will explain how to install WSL Two. However, you can also apply everything that we will explain in this tutorial to WSL1. For those of you who are not familiar with WSL system, WSL is very important for people who want to install Docker desktop on Windows, then people who want to run Linux applications without installing Linux from scratch or installing a dual boot on their computers. Dual boot provides us with a select menu that enables us to boot either from Windows or Linux when the computer starts. I have personally installed dual boot on all of my computers. However, you have to be an expert to properly set up the dual boot and consequently the easiest approach is actually to install Linux through WSL in Windows and you don't need to worry about dual boot. And moreover, WSL is very important for people who want to run robot operating system or ROS on Windows. Okay, so let's start. Click on start, then search for PowerShell and you will find Windows PowerShell. Do not immediately click on Windows PowerShell. Do the right click and run as an administrator and enter the PowerShell. Now, believe it or not, you can install WSL by simply executing this command. WSL and then with the option install and run this and that's it and then you will see installing virtual machine platform and wait here this will take some time it's not going to be too long and you can see the progress over here and next you will see this it's written installing windows subsystem for linux now here you have to be again patient since this will not take a long time and you can see now that Ubuntu is being installed. Here the default version of Ubuntu is being installed and later on we can actually keep this default version or install a, even a new version of Ubuntu and we can select the version that we want to install later on. That is the advantage of WSL is that you can have several Ubuntu versions running in parallel on your system and everything will be done in an isolated environment. This is super nice. And after some time you will see this message, Ubuntu has been installed, the requested operation is successful, changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted. Okay, so the next step is to reboot the system. So click on start and then click over here on power to reboot the system, that is restart the system. I will stop this video and I will continue the video when I restart my system. And after you restart the computer, this program will automatically start and you will see this window. You will see that Ubuntu is already installed, launching Ubuntu, installing, this might take a few minutes. If you don't see this, you will be able to get this screen by simply running Ubuntu later on. I will explain this later on. After some time, you will see this screen. Installing this, this might take a few minutes and then you will see please create a default Unix user account and you need to enter your username. I'm going to enter this username, this is my first name and then you need to enter the password. So you need to wait here after you press enter then enter the password and probably you need to confirm the password. Yes, I will confirm the password and here it is. Password update successful, installation successful. Good. And you can see that the default version of Ubuntu that comes with WSL is Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS. And later on we can change this version and we can also install in parallel to this version another Linux version. Good. Close the previous command prompt, that is close the terminal. Next, let's learn how to start WSL, that is, let's learn how to start Ubuntu. So click over here, and there are several ways. 
if you search WSL, you will see this cute penguin icon. So click here, and if you click here, WSL will start, and you will start the default installed Linux distribution. And you can verify that by simply executing this command over here, LSB release A, and you can see that you are running Ubuntu 22.04, which is a default version. Another approach is again to click here and to search for Ubuntu and you will see the Ubuntu app so you will be able to run Ubuntu and again you will run the default version. However, the story doesn't end here. There is a possibility to install several Ubuntu versions on your computer and let's learn how to do that. To do that, let's again click over here and search for PowerShell. Here it is. And now I will resize this window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can see this manual over here. To list all available Linux distributions that can be installed by using WSL, we need to execute this command WSL list online and let's see. And voila, here it is. Let's analyze what we can install. Okay, we can install these Ubuntu versions. We can even install the most recent one, 24.04, and this is very important for robotics people since ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco runs on Ubuntu 24.04, consequently you can install it, and that's good. Now, let's learn how to install a specific Linux distribution. What will happen right now, we are going to keep the current distribution we have, that is Ubuntu 22.04, and on top of that, we are going to install Ubuntu 24.04. So let's do that. To do that, we simply need to execute this command. Here it is. And we need to specify the, the Linux distribution. So here it is. We want to install this. So simply copy and paste it here. And let's install. And that's it. Now you have to wait here since the process will take some time. And that's very important. Just be patient here. And over here you will be again asked to enter your username. I'm going to enter the same username and new password. And I'm going to enter my password. Then I'm going to confirm my password. And that's it. Installation successful. And that's it. You can see how much memory you're using, etc. Again, you will see even that you're automatically being logged in here. Very good. Let's close this and let's verify a few things. Now, if you click again here, start, and if you search WSL, you will still have WSL. However, if you search Ubuntu, you will actually see this version of Ubuntu. However, you will see another one, Ubuntu 24.04. So let's complete this. 24, if you start writing 24.04, you will have it over here. Cool, and you can click here. And now let's make sure that this version of Ubuntu is actually 24.04 and let's run this and you will see, voila, 24.04. However, let's verify that we still have the old Linux distribution. So click here and search again Ubuntu, start this Ubuntu and let's see again, version, here it is, 22.04, perfect. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.